I'd be Sarah Rochelle. Welcome. Hold on, we can, we can bring this down a little bit here. We're just chilling right now. We, we got desktop coming. Um, but we're going to continue with chapter two. So welcome. Have fun. Also, this is day three of every stream in October every day. That was a sentence. Dream every day of October. There's a good, better sentence. Um, but yeah, we'll just start getting this closed off there. Just pause that one there. And then we'll bring the desktop audio live because there is eventually a game. It, it definitely has to take a second to figure that out. But game time! Woo. Okay, thank you, Steam. I will access this. No, I won't. I absolutely will not access the Steam Community while playing. I've got my water off over here. There's a kitten terrorizing the house. Hopefully not too much of our other cat, but, you know, they're wandering off somewhere. But yeah, she just came back. The kitten just came back from the bed because she had her appointments to get all her shots and everything. Let's load. Okay, load all the way down at night time because we were just about to go to bed after we finished everything. So, yes, load this save game. Continue. Yes. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Um, okay. So, ding dong, bing bong. We get to listen to this again, probably. Crazy person. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Yay. That's good. Sorry, I took a drink of my water. I forgot I had to click. It is officially nighttime. Cool. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. It's a dining hall and all of a sudden I'm like, I need a snack. I'm okay, like, I just then. ate dinner. Sweet dreams, everyone. Silly, silly Good me. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Will do. Won't let the bed bugs bite. Can do. Another day gone. <laughs> but even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? Again, I'm also cold for no reason. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Monokuma Theater! Whenever I bought a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare! I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day I rode my bike to the train station, I was in the bathroom. Okay, you can continue. That's... Somebody's dead in a locker room. Like I thought. And they went in through the pool side. They scanned theirs and then went in through the pool side. Because there's no super hyper lock on the outside. Just the regular side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got those big brains. Good morning, everyone! It is now... And nighttime is officially over. Time to oh, rise. We're in like day seven by now, I think. Hold on. I lost my other pencil, so I grabbed the one that fell on the floor the other day. Now we're two. Ah! Oh, there's something. That's why this writing is weird. Day seven. What does today hold? Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Uh huh. I can't tell. There's no windows. Hmm, you might want to head to the dining hall or we click on all the things. Also, how have you never used your trash can once? Like, at all. And also, you do realize that some people are not going to be going to the dining hall, so I don't know what the point of... The point is people are still trying, and I appreciate that. Point. Yes, when he did bad things. Leave the area. Yes, please move me to the dining hall. Please. I don't have to go directly there, do I? I could just wander around. 
Hmm. That's an interesting thought. But... Is this... Everyone? It feels a little small! Yakuya and Toka had stormed off yesterday and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger, somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Biakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we each go check on Toko? For serious. I vote no, she's super annoying. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? <laughs> what? No, rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet! Anyway, Byakuya is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice! Get some rope! We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged! Well, that's one way to solve problems. I don't think the recommended method, but a method. I think that's going a little overboard. I'm guessing. He's right! In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something? Idiot. I'm not an idiot. No. You're an idiot. Oh, God. Damn you. This is what we're doing now? This is what we're doing? Who are you calling stupid? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. I'm just going through a little self loathing Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I... I hate how weak I am. Ah, uh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. Why? How is it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? A uh, good... Why don't you talk to Sakura and tell her that one? Uh, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on! Don't, don't cry. It's my fault. Okay, I won't yell at you anymore. Mm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just sh shut up. What? Oh God! <laughs> I'll make you a promise as a man. Thomas, as a man, man, we're all just as confused as you are. Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um... Left you? Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Well, thanks for that info. Oh, I, s I see. That's Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make you guys, all you guys cry. Okay, sure. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise, so you don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Oh, I had an idea. Sorry, that was unrelated to anything. Sh sure. But. But I still don't like how I am right now. No, I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um, no, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you anytime. But then Mish Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces! Just a second. Shut up! <laughs> Finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Out there, there's a world outside of Hope's Peak Academy, Chihiro.
I don't remember I, the rest of that line to make it. It's from Hello Dolly. It's uh, out there. Oh, uh, no, it's Sunday Clothes, I think. It's the beginning of it where uh, the two shopkeeps are discussing about not being shopkeeps and going to New York City for a day so they can be in the big city. There's a world outside of Yonkers, Barnaby. <laughs> Barnaby. Yeah. So, yeah, Hello Dolly reference. Woo! It's the one they use in Wally. So put on your Sunday clothes when you feel down. Out. Down the street and have your picture took. Oh, here's a buzz. Is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? <laughs> also, I hope the stream looks... I don't know if it'll look any better considering I um, downscaled the output resolution. But the bitrate should be higher this time, so maybe things don't look clunky as much when it switches screens. But yeah, I upped the bitrate because I had forgotten that I can stream at a higher bitrate when I moved <laughs> two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's how long I've set settings. Okay, so what should I do today? We're hanging out with Taka today. Today, today, it is Taka day. Hang out with Taka! Because Taka is next on my list, and so he gets a page. Hold on, what's his full name? Dead, dead, dead. Oh, that's here. Where's Taka on my. Oh, Kyo Taka. Ishinar? I. Taka. Ishinar. If I can read my own handwriting. Because that's the biggest question. Okay, we're hanging out with him today. Julio. Let's see. Where is he at? Um, Toko is in Toko's room. Not in the dining hall. Uh... He's in the second floor hallway. Perfect. Okay. Taka. Taka. Not you. Taka. Not you. There you are. Hello. Hi, buddy. We don't have time for idle chit chat, Makoto. We have to find a way out of here. Hmm. Should I hang out with Taka for a while? Yes. We're going to spend some time with Taka. Well, I suppose we should take a break once in a while. Let's partake of some of my delicious tea. Sounds good, Taka. Taka, not Taka. I just have terrible handwriting, and that's the long and short of it. We went to the dining hall, and Taka made us some of his delicious tea. Taka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Taka a present? Yes, definitely. I have no idea what to give him. I don't have any mineral water. Can't miss combo. I don't think he's a soda person. Hi, Kai. You know what? He would be the type of person that likes an emergency ration. I see. Maybe I was wrong about you, Makoto. Let's continue to deepen our relation as gave emergency ration. Seven flavor. Oh, hold on. I need to just before I forget. Bitch. Does that mean he liked it? Hmm. As long as we're talking, let's really talk. What do you say? Uh, sure, that's fine. Excellent. You hear me? 
then let's get down to brass tacks and find out where we stand on all the big issues he is just straight to the point he is like okay if you're gonna be my friend we need to figure out where we stand here 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 and here okay sir so what should we discuss politics the economy international affairs how about how to get out of here uh hold on it's sort of a big serious discussion can we just have a normal conversation that's the best way to learn about people i think what do you mean by a normal conversation um well for example what do you like to do in your spare time Listen to me. study of course i'm a student aren't i a student must be a studying professional oh poor kid and of course my duties as the chairperson of the morals committee keep me quite busy as well it's my duty to foster an environment in which we can all focus on our studies okay but what else like when you're at home or you just have some time to kill if i have time to kill i study i see this is fun okay my turn makoto what do you like to do in your spare time um, you know, just normal stuff. Watch TV, play video games. Oh, like this, this, this video game I'm playing right here. I have to learn how to point, apparently. Huh, and this helps you study how? No, it's not about studying. It's just for fun, you know? But doing things just for fun serves no purpose. There must be more to it. You wouldn't spend your valuable time doing something useless, would you? I mean, yeah, because sometimes you just don't want your brain to focus on all the other stuff. He can insist all he wants, but in the end, maybe there is a good reason. Like getting into something and talking to people about it. Or just not having to worry about certain other things. So maybe... Relating to your friends. You know how it's useful? It helps give you something to talk about with other people. Something to talk about? Like when you see something awesome on TV or some awesome game and you want to share it with someone. You find other people who feel the same way and that's how you make friends. See? This is I was once blind, but now I see! Well, what the heck? That kind of thing has plagued me for years! I've tried making friends, but whenever I would make conversation, I would die after a few minutes. And now, I've finally found the answer! I need to study more games! More TV shows! <laughs> I have re Oh god, I'm clicking on the wrong screen. Whoopsies, here we go. And no, you don't need to st study them. Oh, I'm so ashamed of myself! If there's a hole around here somewhere, I'd totally go hide in it. It's. I let it get to me. I wasted all that time. I never saw the blind spot in my studies. You did not waste time, let me tell you. I'm a complete embarrassment. I'm not qualified to even be on the morals committee, let alone lead it. Okay, first of all, you're... Take it down a notch. You're okay. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Thank you, Professor Makoto. He gets a salute. He always gets the salute because he's a salute type of person. Professor? You've taught me a most valuable lesson today. You've earned my respect. The title of Professor earned respect title professor talked about free time slash hobbies and how you can relate to others Ta-da! That's gonna make things super awkward. <laughs> There's no need to be modest, Professor! I can't wait for your next lesson, and until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Hmm. Well then, Professor, by your leave! That waiting for a reply, Taka ran off. Professor. Although, thinking about it, I didn't totally hate it. Okay. Professor Makoto. Taka's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlocked the skill Attentive Influence. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it! I got another skill finally! After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. 
I'm like a little heater right under my desk for Mara, so there's still time left in the day. Okay, who's next on our list? Day seven, part two. Uh, we did Taka. Hold on, be a Q, you move down. Um, you know what? Let's move Chihiro up my list. I see. Hold on, who's that? Oh, the clear point. Mm. You don't think you a cheer hero. After this morning, I find. Uh. Afternoon. Noon. So it's Chihiro Fuji Saki. Chihiro Fuji Saki. Gift. Don't know. She's a programmer. I think I have a programmer thing. Maybe I'll go explore. Well, first, I do want to check out Kaka Kyoko. So she's in the laundry room. But before I do that, I want to go... I really don't care about him. I want to go to the archive. I haven't been able to go in that room portion of it yet, and I've been meaning to. I said I'll go hang out with Chihiro. Desk. Oh, I thought it was. Well, I don't care about him. Hmm. An, ex an extension cord. I guess it's being used to connect the lamp to the power output. But where would you get something like this here in the school? That is its own question, but I'm not gonna go. That letter, according to this letter, Hope's Peak Academy has stopped functioning as a school. What's more, it didn't even happen recently. Apparently it closed down over a year ago. Master I probably took over the abandoned school in order to start this killing game, which explains why there aren't any other students here, because it's not a real school. And then there's these serious issues that forced the school to close down in the first place. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison, imprison us all here, would that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Cool, let me check out the archive, please. Hey, you! Oh. I can't concentrate with you here. Kindly leave. I mean, I want to look at the archive. I'll find them. I'm ignoring you. Yes, leave the area. Um, the heroes in the laundry. So if I go to here, yeah, I can teleport to here, and then I'll. Oh wait, did I ever check out the bath? Let me explore the bath because I don't think I've actually checked this out yet. Hi, bud. No. Lockers. One of them um, is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. There's a massage chair. Maybe I'll use it once I get really tired. There's a coin. Um, what's that other place that opened up that I don't look at? So, bathhouse. There's a room in the back of it, the warehouse. And then doors it is. Mm. There's a lot of steam in the bathhouse, which... This bathtub is huge! There's the sauna. Is that it? It's just the hot poles? What's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? Probably. 
Yeah, sleep sauna. There's not too much to explore here. I just I just wanted to take a look because I hadn't actually gone there. Yep. Was there anything that opened up on these before I go talk to Chiro? Is there anything else that popped up? Did the nurse's office open up? Hold on. I don't think so, but I want to just check. No, okay, cool. Oh, that's second floor. The stairs to the first floor over here. I remember. I also remember to click this time, like I usually forget to do. Mm, laundry! That was a yawn. It's a hero! What's wrong? Did you need something? Hmm, should I hang out with Chihiro for a while? Yeah, let's spend some time with Chihiro. You want to sit down and talk for a while? If Mondo ends up dead, I'm going to be a little bit sad because I had switched him in the order for Chihiro. Um, cause I, but, and the thing with his brother was also interesting, but I'm like, hmm, let's, let's do Chihiro, why not? Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Yeah, definitely. Don't remember what I have. I don't know. I'll kind of give her a quote. Hold on. Uh, she also wants to get tough. Hand it. Um... The seeds, the... Oh, maybe a haircut. That would be cute. Um... Oh! Uh... Um... I don't know enough about her. She's a programmer, right? Mm hmm. Um. I don't know what to give her. Nope, that's not it. Oh! Mmm. Reform on remodel, take zombies as slay. I don't, I don't think that's necessarily it. Um. Yeah. Who's who's the writer in the group? I mean, I'm thinking about giving her the game, but I don't think that that's quite right. Coco is the writing part. I don't know. I'm gonna give her the game against my better judgment. I like, I kinda wanna give her, okay, what do we else we got? Electromagnetic fields around things. She might like that. I think, so. let's give her the camera. I lied, I'm gonna give her the camera because I, I can't think of anything better, but I think that would be Thank you so much! Thank you, Chihiro. I gave her a camera. 
camera for elec fields. Elec magma. Elec magma fields. I gave her that camera. What's wrong, Chihiro? Oh, it hurts. Did you get hurt, Chihiro? You know? Oh, uh, not really. I get- I got bit by a mosquito last night. Mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize, it was my own fault. But you said it hurts, did it really bite you that hard? Yeah, see, look. She held up their arm. The huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. Did, but why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, it felt it bite me and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? It must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad to not let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make things worse. What? But what if I get so itchy, I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help, because it'll bring pain to it, and the pain will ease the itching. Huh? Wow, I had no idea, actually. That is something I've done before. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled in a tiny, cute little... She smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, the school's completely sealed off, right? So how'd a mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot. A uh, nature place in the school? I can't say for sure that there's not. I mean, mosquitoes breed in standing water. They, there's definitely something around here. Uh, or, 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 maybe there's a secret passageway somewhere that leads out of the school. Secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. I'm playing with, like, the string on my sweater. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. I think I've mixed up my voices, what? even though they're very similar. Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep. So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Okay. Mosquito. Uh, mosquito. Right. Nature the area question mark question mark then how'd it get in? Thank you, Makoto. Kiro's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go! Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. How long do I get to explore? Do I have forever to explore? Every time the AC turns on, it's just a little too cold. Don't, don't, don't let me forget the trash can. Yep, 
the aviarium. Can I go other places than the dining hall? Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Dining hall it is! I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. What's going on? Listen to me. Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. Uh, favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Do they give me mana coins? Do they give me mana coins? Who do I want to talk to first? Can I go to the kitchen and just... Jump, hold on. It's like the... Witness? Witness to what? what? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! Yo. That's why you can't do what society asks of you! Why you walk around dressed like that? Huh? What the fuck you say? You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. Where's my blanket? I'm still cold with my sweater on. So what? You saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am! You wanna fight? Okay, then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge! What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down. You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With the sauna inside? I see. A, a, a simple endurance contest, is it? Got it? We're gonna see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit. Goddamn straight! Okay. Well, we finally get to see the bathhouse. Are you guys really gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah. Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyways. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting? You son of a bitch. We're gonna battle with all our clothes on. Ridiculous. That, that's idiotic. Suicidal. You wanna what, you afraid? You're going to regret this! Stop fucking around! Shut up and let's do it! Hey, Mondo. Uh, Mondo is clearly- wait. Taka does not have all his clothes on. I don't. What, asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. <laughs> God you don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl. Oh man, a steaming right hot bowl of soup right now sounds so good, though. Are they... okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? I just like the implication that they are just completely just full fire all the time. Like nothing else but fire. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. You Excuse want. me, sorry. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but uh, don't you think you've done enough? Good, good try. Hi, Kiara. 
Do you get your nails clipped today at the vet? Yeah. Hey, honey. Oh, please don't drink my water. I just can't win. Hi. There's no sensor on the screen yet. You're a little early. You're laying on my notebook. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta write something down, honey. I will continue to give you pet, but I do gotta turn the page. At night, getting okay. snack. Mondo and Taka went for a sauna off. A good dance off, but a sauna off. The strongest, essentially. Hi, and that's my pencil, honey. I kind of need it. Um, and on that note, a uh, short break. I will be right back.
I am back. Sorry. I need to take a phone call. Oh, and there's a QR in the window. And such is it officially nighttime. The door to the dining hall there we go. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Pardon me? Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. Uh huh, sure. But also, we should go to bed before we get in trouble. Are you guys gonna just be here all night? You win or you lose. Oh no, they're gonna both gonna end up the dead. Only thing that matters. Listen to you. Bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Hi, Kiara. Hey, dude, Kiara. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't eat my fingers. Don't do that. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. Uh, this isn't good, guys. Yeah. You hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do Where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at ya! Okay, well, good night then! She's dead. She's dead. It's gonna be so sad. And then I'm gonna regret not hanging out with Mondo again. Hold on, there's like a smudge right in the center of my glasses. Why are you like this? Mmm, clean. There we go. Clean, 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 clean the glasses. Perfect. I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. They're gonna be dead. They're gonna be dead. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know! I'm still alive because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Okay, Monokuma. is officially over time to rise and shine get ready to greet another beautiful day morning huh i hope mondo and taka survived you say that worried about the two of them i hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual and when i entered <laughs> what are you talking about bro what are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto! <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! Are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell nah! Feels great, more like! This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bonds. You hear me? 
Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. How sexist art can you be? Ain't that right? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. Okay. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Ah. Yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Oh no. Oh wait, day eight. Day eight. Question mark, question mark, contest. Mondo and Taka bros forever now. Bromancing. I'm literally writing Bro Manson with an apostrophe in our note, my notes. So what should I do today? Ding dong! Hm? Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Uh, Toko forced way in. Toko forced way in. I wonder if I could get around her. She is definitely not- oh wait, I did Shiro. Um, hmm. Hi, Toko. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> well, I already know that I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that, that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Okay. I want you to go somewhere with me. We go somewhere with Toko. And where is it you want to go? Well. The library. Okay. Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyways. Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library. We're going to the library. Of course, library with... with Toko. Because apparently that's what I'm doing today. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? He teleports to library. Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. He actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. Oh, he's really here. Okay, me and Makoto, go talk to him. Why are we... He's clearly busy and doesn't want to be interrupted, so like, why? What? Stop being so loud! Hurry up and go talk to him! He wants us to talk to Yahuya. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't! I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Clicks on everything but him. Um, because I can. Oh, that's not where I thought I was clicking. I know, like, it hovers over what you're clicking and stuff, but even then, it's still, like... Not what I expect sometimes. Um. 
Oh, this is such okay. Maybe I should not click on that all the time. What the heck? Just talk to him. Okay. Hi, Biakuya. Biaku. Biakuya. That's enough. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. No, probably not. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. What is my phone doing? Hmm. And take her with you. Hey, um, Yakuya? Remember how you said... Don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman and be a woman dominated by a strong man. Hmm. I never said that. <laughs> well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now, before your stench launches onto the entire room. Okay. Is that all you came here for? He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. He seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Yakuya, go that far! Oh, she's crushing on him. Uh, she crushing. She crushing on. Hold on. I guess I'll make Toko a damn page. Because this is important information now. Kind of. I really don't care. Toko Fukama. Fukawa. Man, my handwriting is terrible. And it was also right on the screen in front of me, so even better. Toko Fukawa crushing on Yakuya. There's letters in my notebook somehow. That makes sense. Probably not. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, wh what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Yakuya and I would be good together? Um, well, now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. <laughs> but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Pretty sure. We'll smile and nod. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye! <laughs> ah, young love! Whoa! Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> Thanks, Monokuma. Why are you telling me that? All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Goodness gracious, everything's so messed up. There's still some time today. What to do? So, first of all, we're going to go day eight continued over here. On this page, what to do is hang out with Mondo, who didn't hang out with me. Mondo, what's his name? Awada. Awada. We're going to day eight. And then day eight afternoon... Your noon is Mondo. Yeah, let's go hang out with Mondo.
Yep. Okay, we're gonna hang out with Mondo. Free time! Where's Mondo? Sofa's in her room. Laundry is those two. Mondo's in the dining hall. He's in the kitchen warehouse. Okay, so the dining hall. I can do that. Oops. Yes, leave the area. Okay, we're gonna go hang out with Mondo. I can't jump. I still want to just jump. When I'm running, I'm just like, jump, jump. Let me jump. Let me jump, jump, jump. Hi, Kiara. You're very cute over there. I like... Hmm. Hold on. But we're, we're just... We're taking a half a second for a Kiara picture break. Because she's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Yeah, Kiara? Mm hmm You're very cute. Okay. You're a good girl. Bum the things again. See if they give me points. Oh. No more coins? No more coins. Okay, hi Mondo! We're hanging out. Hey Makoto, what's up? Spend some time with Mondo! You're kind of weird, you know that. You ain't afraid of me all wanting to hang out. Well, whatever. You want to go get something to drink? Mondo, we were in the dining hall. We were in the dining hall. And had some tea. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Oh, hold on. Would you like to give Mondo a present? Yes, definitely. Surely I have something for a biker gang member. I don't know. A chin spike? Um, you know what? We're just gonna give him a soda gift. Soda. Like, I really don't know what to give him. Because we either got chips, the croissant. What's this? You know what? Hold on. We're giving him the t-shirt. Never mind. We're not giving him the show. We're giving him this t-shirt. Um. Uh-oh. We gave him punk rock t-shirt. Um. Better not ask for back. Uh, he liked it. Okay, he liked it. Liked it. Yo. Hey, Makoro, what's your ride? Uh, my ride? Why? Yeah, man, Why? your hog, your chopper, your motorcycle. Um, I don't ride anything. Huh? What? You're not a little kid anymore, right? And you still don't have a hog? Jesus Christ. God, you're such a fucking deeb. Deeb? Dweeb. Uh, sorry? Alright, man, I'm gonna educate you. A real man rides a Kawasaki, okay? That's what I ride. Uh, he rides a Kawasaki, which is an actual motorbike brand. Hell I said yeah. motorbike, so I'm just all, as much of a dweeb as uh, Makoto is. You ought to see him, man. The tw we twins got that monster's power. It's like you're dancing. I said that wrong, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it as is. Of course, it ain't just for anyone. You gotta have the skill to handle it. You must really love your motorcycle. Oh well, yeah, I do. I'm a goddamn biker, ain't I? We're crazy as hell. Yeah, you're the leader of the biggest biker gang in Japan, right? Hell yeah. Damn straight, the Invincible Crazy Diamond Gang. Leader of Crazy Diamond Gang. Of crazy. Diamond Motor Gang. I'm just, I know it means motorbike. You want to come on a ride with us? The monster sound coming out straight out of that pipe. Hot damn. Straight pipe? Why? Come on, you gotta know what a straight pipe is, right? It's like 
and something's missing, right? That's why it a, makes a monster sound. Got no muffler. Straight pipe, no muffler. Straight pipe, no muffler. Hell yeah! So you did know, good. And that's that. Next time we ride, you ride with us. That's true. Man, that makes me think back to when I first started riding. Yeah. My big bro used to ride too, you know? His name's Daya. Big bro named Daya? Daya Mondo. Together we were the Diamond Brothers. Everyone up and Ah, Diamond. That's clever. I like that name. Diamond Brothers. Diamond Brothers. Good. Everyone up and down the country knew us. Why? Of course, I was always the cool one. The Diamond Brothers? That sounds kind of incredible. By the way. First time I went out, I ended up at the back of the pack. Eventually, the cops got on us and they surrounded me. I was in some tough shit, man. Hey, damn it. So I pulled over, but when they came up to me, well, let's just say it was a massacre. Massacre? Man, Mondo, you must be really strong. Of course, you can't wave the banner for our gang without that kind of strength. In a fight, they'll go for the leader first. They'll the leader of the pack, you know? That's why the other gangs come after me. So if you want to be the leader of the pack, you gotta be a tough motherfucker. Yo. You'll see what I mean when we go on our first ride. Get ready for it! Because he salutes now because he's bros with Taka. Actually, maybe it's better if I don't get involved in that kind of thing. Hold on. I need to make sure I cross Mondo off my list. Mondo? Yep. Okay, I did. Depending on what happens there. Where's my D8 stuff? Hold on. There's Taka. There's Chiro, Toko. Mondo. Okay, okay here we go. I, had, I lost my page. Like I said, I don't have a motorcycle. I don't even know how to drive one. Hell yeah. And you can ride with me. Riding with Mondo. But other gangs target him first, right? N no way. Hell yeah. Hey, I said get ready for it. Damn, am I pumped. I can't wait to get out of here now. Mondo left, apparently in a pretty good mood. Crap, this is really bad. Even if I get out of here, I may, might still be in real trouble. <laughs> Mondo's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Dragging my anxiety behind me, I went back to my room. Night time. Ding bong. Ding bong, ding dong. Oh, that's such a sleepy kitty. This is a spoken one. Ahem. The school announcement. School announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! Okay, well, why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Um, click. I don't have time to root through the trash can right now, but I have time to click on things. You never know, you really should carry that toy code with you. I guess to the gym it is. Oh boy. Uh, hi Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to find him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. 
I really can't do anything except what Monica, Mono Puma tells me. Anybody else we could say? Anybody have a map? I do, right there. Okay, well, Mondo's out front too, so, well, Mondo and Kyoko aren't dead. At least we know that much. Hey! Yo. Hey man, you about to head in? Yeah, has that everyone else already gone on ahead? Shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing is good gonna come from ignoring that bear. Called to gym at night. Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that song, though. Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. But you know, there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must happen between the two of them. I want to jump, and I can't jump. This gym it is. And does anybody have a gym? Fool me. Let's still click on this stuff. Oh. Hey, Fumi. Hey, Hifumi. How come you haven't gone in yet? <gasps> Whoa. Mr. Naegi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we just can't ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. We have to go too. Does anybody have a not go through that door button. Because I kind of don't want to go through the door. I have a song stuck in my head. It's called Does Anybody Have a Map? From Dear Evan Hansen. It's a musical. I... That. <laughs> Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might await us this time? He keeps things interesting. That's for certain. Um, How's that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you can live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? Not in denial. That reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police still... Mm. Sorry. <laughs> that tone was a little bit more fitting for the line than his... On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> and don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Hmm. Like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe Maybe. it, it was like a construction site, I guess? A construction site? So, what's his name? 
hero third construction night sounds night I mean, I could just be making that up. I only ba just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. It must have been just the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Um. What's going on? I'm confuzzled. I'm baffled, even. He's arrived. <laughs> what hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. An explosion? Question mark? Her monokuma? You know the evil bear? Huh? I mean, a machine gun, blah, that kind of sounds like construction in a way. Machine gun. What are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is thick, my lips are sealed, and I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? are ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? The next Blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Hey, um... Sorry, at the head bump. So I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you! Motivate? Is another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean things to say! Just awful! I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Good luck, Taco. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. He's not going to care about our permission. He's just going to go. So this time in... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets! And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. I thought I heard our other cat meowing. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched up the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my body, entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours! If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world! You just said there's no world out there. It's just these guys. We can live with it. So... Monokuma dug up embarrassing... slash secrets... Um, want another blackened in 24 hours. 
accounts all will be shared. Sorry, I gotta write these notes because otherwise I'll forget the story. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with the loudspeakers and spell. Who can Okay, if it's to the general public, nobody is going to care. Like if you're telling it, I'm telling all these other people around you who are actively living with you day to day. Yeah, then people are going to care a little bit more. But if you're telling it to a general public who a good majority of people won't know you. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Would yeah! that be so embarrassing? So that's what you mean by moto fake. Yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal it. We, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I not Monica. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know. But we never kill over something like that. What you say? He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little bit better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Fair not well. <laughs> okay, that was good. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one? Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be a totally embarrassing. That's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Why Honestly, not the worst idea. Oh, my computer's stuttering a little bit. I changed a setting. I might change it back, but I know why it's doing it. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, few drop frame. Actually, not nearly as many as before. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. But not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Well, it's just human nature you to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. Come on, come on. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on. Hey. I said I don't want to talk about it to you human bag of lard. Say what? <gasps> I agree with him. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so I don't really want to talk about it right now. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later? After I try my best to become strong, then I'll tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. Everyone's that much against it. Even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody yet over it. I hope you're right. A secret's so bad you kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk. But... Each of us have 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Um, oh, uh, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but just, just breathe and let it all go. Let it all flow out from under you. 
kitty is sleeping. It's always sleepy. It's a good sleepy kitty. For reals this time, I guess. The dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. I don't like this bear. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay, let's call call it a day. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spotting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. Well, at least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is why, probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I... I didn't know... Ugh. But what I didn't know is that even then... Tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world's attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him. And yeah, that's right. I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly, a few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, they put then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well Thanks. I was gonna shorten his name to just Kuma, but that's disrespect to Kuma from Persona 4. His name was, I'm pretty sure, just straight Kuma. Kuma Persona 4. Oh, his name was Teddy in the English, but it was Kuma in the Japanese. Um, which I was right, it was just straight Kuma. And just calling Monokuma just Kuma would be disrespectful to Persona 4. Teddy. Because he's my boy. And not this asshole. Oh, sorry. I'm clicking on the wrong screen. I know how things work. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning! <laughs> Nice the reaction! I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint! Oops. Nope. Thank you. What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person! What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun! And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Here, what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates! What? Say what? <gasps> your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death! What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out! Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? What if they're pointless, especially now when the dining hall? I need to get to the dining hall. Ah, 
Makoto! Are you okay? Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Yakuya? You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. Uh, something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has that happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. So if something really did happen, does that mean- oh wait, hold on. We're on day... 9. Mono... Kuma... Woke... Us up. Something... Terrible happened. So... Who's here and who's not? Well, we got Makoto. We don't have Taka. We don't have Kyoko. We don't have Mondo. We do have Yakuya. So he's here. Um, Ali's here. Sakura is here. Okay. And this hero's here. Okay, that leaves Taka, Kirigiri, Mondo, Toko, Chihiro, Celeste. And Hifumi. So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? It can't be! That stuff was just a bunch of old memories! Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it... What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just for once. Stop saying that already. Um. There's something wrong with him, for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. Um, okay then. So... Uh, no. I don't want to leave this area yet. I'm assuming it's not going to show me the people on the map unless they're the ones that we've already talked to. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to start first floor. And go around. Um, but I'm gonna start in the kitchen. Looks like nothing's in the kitchen. Veggies and meat. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna leave this. Um, let's start with you. I want to go to the warehouse first, because it's easy. Well, um... I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... Yeah. However, let's just check the warehouse. I I'm going to check everything first, just in case. I just... I don't like it. I don't like this. Um, yep. Leave the area here. Make sure no one's in the laundry. Nope, just this. Okay. I'll do the bathhouse since it's right here. Well, like, because, like, the bathhouse is new to us, so, like, we might as well check it. Like, it would not not make sense to not check the bathhouse. Nope. 
What's this? Okay. Same as before. I know I didn't click in on anything here. Like, and I know that was a hint saying go to the next floor, but like, I'm still gonna check everything because that's me and the game already enough times has done things that it's like, hey, do this thing, and then it doesn't let me do this thing. Let me check this. Okay. And the only thing really left to check is... I guess I'll check here really quick. A fish tank. Yeah. There's the trash room. No, I'm not gonna knock on everybody's doors though. Like, I, I will trust that there. There doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh, no. It's just that what the, you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose that was floating around my subconscious, and it let me hear. Smart. Can we bring this? This is still locked. That's what leads outside. 100% it's that hatch. That's where the mosquito came from. 100%. No, let me run, please. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna check everything just in case. All your base are belong to us. Nobody's in here. I'll talk to him in a second. Is the desk. Yeah. Hey, hey, bud. Yo. Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious. About Bikuya. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I don't know. You know, you know more about that kind of thing than me, right? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto, I think you're completely misunderstood what I, it is I do. Listen, fortune telling is like, well? it's totally different from brain washing or hypnosis or any of that pseudoscientific bullcrap. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Also... The fact that... Byakuya was there... Byakuya was there? Was a little bit weird. Then again... Just because he hasn't been going to the dining hall. Um, that's what's weird to me. Is the fact that he hasn't been going to the dining hall and then all of a sudden went to that. I'll check the store just in case. A murder in the store. Like, I'm checking everywhere. Oh, that's trophies. The mailbox, okay. Yep. Oh! Yeah, I perked up. Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm probably going to stream for a little bit longer, Gil. So you could just put my stuff on the table. Yeah. I have dinner. Thank you. I want to at least figure out what's going on. We're going to discover a murder. I have a feeling. And I'm also looking every place that's not the place I probably should be looking. 
I have Jink Jink. Move that there. Put that there. Don't drink it. Um, look here really quick, just in case. I still click on random things. I want my mono coins. Yeah, leave the gym. Nothing's here. Next floor it is. It's totally, it's totally in the locker room. Hey, don't drink that. No, Kiara. Kiara, don't. Thank you. Thank you, Kiara. Um, it's totally in the locker room of the uh, thingy, and it's done by the person of the office of gender. Uh, hold on, where, where are we at? Do you want to start with the pool? Let's start with the pool. No, let's start with the library. Who needs pools? Oh, wait, let's start with the classrooms before the library. Where is the classroom? There's gotta be. There's a classroom around here, and I can't figure out. Because there's a classroom on this end, and there's a classroom- Oh, here it is. I found it, guys. It was literally right behind me. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Yes. And the Kiara was sleeping. And now she's- Hold on one second. Kiara, that's not for you. She keeps trying to drink the soda. She's very curious about it. Actually, I think right now she's just watching the bubbles bubble up. It's kind of adorable. Reality isn't everything. Damn fair. Kiara. No. Um, well, I guess library, because I'm assuming it's in the pool. Based on how much we talked about the guns. Yeah, here he is. There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. I wanna go in the archive. Hey, there's nothing worthwhile over there. I've already checked so there can be no mistake. Just let me go in the archive. Kara, leave that alone, please. Well, only place to look. It's pool time. There's some swimming gear and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know what it's for. Huh? The door's open. But aren't these supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Locked and cool. Or mono kuma for investigation. Mm -hmm. Sure he has. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Yakuya? Judging from what he just said, there can do be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on! In the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girl's locker room. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting his, uh, for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. The door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Chikiro. Why also does a girl's locker room have the same poster the guy's does? Hashtag equality? Question mark. But you hear wrong. Instead. 
I'm sad. I like chubby roll. It'll be sweet. Chihiro dead in girls' locker room. Chihiro dead in girls' locker. So she's dead. That doesn't explain Ifumi, Celeste, Toko, Mondo, Kyoko, or Taka. Oh, wait, us. Kiara, that's not for you. Hey. No. Yeah, no. Mom said no. You still... Yeah, that was the first time you made that sound. I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... <laughs> the wilds almost prim... Primival? Primeval? Scream escape from my mouth. Trouble with words. Boy's life of despair. Deadly life. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yara, stop, please. The Akuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? It was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's course has been submitted somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Blood of the dust. Wall. Yeah. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Nope. That's my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for one. You know what I mean, don't you? Murder... For fun? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something? Ah, oh, Taka's alive. Okay, we got Taka. <laughs> Accurate. certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Hmm. What the hell was that? What? Oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Kiara, get off of the desk, please. Off? Hold on. Hold on. was getting into trouble. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. Oh! Announcement plays when... I imagine it's so the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement! Then your hero really is! Dead. Yes. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has become. Another life or death game to uncover a killer.
Akka bolted out of the locker room as everyone made their way to the scene. It felt as if no time had passed at all. It was like my sense of time had just taken a wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Shira's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim! Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream! This is a dream! It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Gotcha. So, well, there's Mondo. And there's Celeste. You're still missing... Oh, and Hifumi. Kyoko and Kyoko. No, I think I see Kyoko. There we go. And there's Kyoko. Okay. However, I do need to call it here, folks. It is getting late. I have food to eat, and I will call it here, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Um, so there is now a schedule in the Twitch about thingy below. Um, there's an about link, there's schedule links, there's all the artist credit up, down in the panels below, the schedules and whatever the schedule tab is on Twitch. Hold on, let me go to this one. Hi, yeah. Um, pretty much normally Mondays through Thursdays will be variety games um, until I figure out what those other ones are. It's going to be Danganronpa because it's the first playthrough and I want to get through it. Um, we're going to be chilling to actually, hold on, before I forget in Danganronpa, let me just save... Um, save. Yeah, let's do slot 15. Yeah. And then we're going to return to main menu. Um, but yeah, that's what it's going to be for the time being. Generally, though, I think I want to have just some of my other games going on Mondays through Thursdays because they're shorter streams and this is a little bit of a harder one to do short streams with. However, um... At the same time, I also just want to. There we go. We'll get we'll get my theme music in here. Also, uh, thanks to Rock Fox, who is linked in the description, as well as Iggy, who does a little B icon. Um, that's on the eye, right there, and in like the starting soon screens. I know how. Yeah, points. There we go. Um. Thank you to both of those, but yeah, uh, the plan is to stream every day in October, so Monday through Thursday will be variety until I decide on a different sets of variety games. It's Danganronpa, because I would like to finish the game. I have the main three? I have a lot of Don I have a lot of games in my Steam library that I haven't finished, but I know I have at least one and two, so my plan is also to go into two long streams on, um... It's Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays because I could go a little later into the evenings on Fridays um, since I don't have to work. Um, Sundays I could also start earlier in the day, but I can't go as late. And then Saturdays I can anytime. So they'll be longer. I have estimated times in there that I'm going to try and stick to. But we're going to be probably completing Chapter 2 before Friday? Maybe Friday, it depends on how long some of the stuff goes over the next couple of days. I'm assuming tomorrow is going to be investigation, Thursday is going to be trial, and then Friday will be chapter three, based on my estimation. But that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. I be Sarah Rochelle, and I'll see you next time. Bye!